This video reports final results from the GeoTag study, which was the first global observational study to assess outcomes in patients with EGFR mutation-positive non-small cell lung cancer who received sequential afatinib and ozimertinib in a real-world clinical practice setting. Five EGFR TKIs are now widely available for the treatment of EGFR mutation-positive NSCLC. The first generation, reversible agents, allotinib and gefitinib. The second generation, irreversible, ERB family blockers, afatinib and dacamitinib. And the third generation, irreversible, EGFR TKI, ozimertinib. Second and third generation TKIs confer superior progression free survival versus first generation TKIs. However, no head to head data are available comparing second and third generation agents. Regardless of which TKI is chosen, acquired resistance is inevitable. The predominant molecular resistance mechanism to gefitinib, erlotinib, and afatinib is emergence of the T790M mutation in exon 20 of the EGFR gene. This mutation is present in approximately 50 to 70% of tumors at the time of acquired resistance, is especially prevalent in tumors with a DEL19 activating EGFR mutation, and is highly sensitive to ozimertinib. In contrast, resistance mechanisms following first line ozimertinib are heterogeneous, and at present, there are no standard targeted treatments available following failure of ozimertinib. Hence, there is an argument for treating patients with sequential EGFR TKIs with ozimertinib reserved as a second-line option to maximize the time on targeted therapies and defer the need for more toxic chemotherapy regimens. To investigate this, the Global Observational GeoTag study aimed to assess outcomes in patients who received afatinib followed by ozimertinib. The medical records of patients with EGFR DEL19 or L858R mutated advanced NSCLC who received afatinib as first-line treatment and who developed the T790M mutation and received second-line ozimertinib treatment were reviewed. The primary outcome was the overall time to treatment failure 204 patients were assessed. They included patients with ECOG performance status of at least 2 and patients with stable brain metastases. 73% of patients had DEL19 mutations. Patients were predominantly Caucasian but also included Asians and African Americans. While the results of initial and interim analyses have been reported previously, here we report the final analysis of the GeoTag study. At a median follow-up of 33.9 months, the median time on treatment for sequential afatinib and ozimertinib was 27.7 months. Particularly prolonged outcomes were seen in patients with DEL19 positive tumors and Asian patients. Median overall survival was 37.6 months in the overall population. Again, median survival was particularly prolonged in patients with DEL19 positive tumors and in Asian patients at more than 3.5 years. For Asian patients, this appears longer than the median overall survival of 37.1 months with first-line ozimertinib in the FLORA study, which was not significantly superior to first-generation EGFR TKIs in this subgroup. Importantly for real-world clinical practice, the benefit of sequential afatinib and ozimertinib was seen across other patient subgroups including those often excluded from or underrepresented in clinical trials. Age did not impact the benefit of sequential afatinib and ozimertinib therapy. Of note, patients with factors associated with a poor prognosis, such as stable brain metastases and ECOG performance status of at least two, 
also derived clinical benefit from the sequential treatment. Together, the results of this final analysis of GeoTag demonstrate the feasibility and effectiveness of sequential afatinib and osimertinib in patients who acquire T790M. The particularly prolonged time on treatment and overall survival data for Asian patients and those with DEL19 activating mutations suggest these patient groups could receive particular clinical benefit from such an approach. However, it should be noted that this approach would not be applicable to patients with T790M negative tumours and further work is needed to better identify patients likely to acquire the T790M mutation and to identify alternative therapeutic options for T790M negative patients. In conclusion, the results of the GeoTag study demonstrate that for some patient subgroups, such as those with DEL19 positive disease and Asian patients, sequential use of TKIs could potentially allow these EGFR mutation positive NSCLC patients to receive long-term chemotherapy-free treatment.